Aww, animals. Cats conquered the world way before the internet. House cats may seem like they could care less about their owners, but the species and their humans apparently go way back. A team of scientists mapped out the modern feline's storied history with people, finding that they all descended from a single type of wild cat and spread across the world in two waves. 10,000 years ago, when agriculture boomed in the Near East, farmers began using cats to drive rodents out of their grain stores. From there, the feline spread north and west to Bulgaria and Romania. The second wave came thousands of years later with the ancient Egyptians, who loved kitties so much they worshipped a cat goddess and mummified their dead pets. Egyptian kitty love spread to Europe during the Roman era, but the cat's popularity really took off with the Vikings, who put them on ships to keep the rodent population in check. In China, cats have been catching pesky mice for over 5,000 years. Seems their strategy to stick to humans worked because flash forward to the present, and they're on every continent on Earth except for Antarctica. They've even conquered the internet and are probably already plotting their domination of space. Meow. Faith in humanity restored. This poor kitten in China got trapped behind a glass wall without food and water and was slowly dying. But luckily, a good Samaritan came to the rescue. Earlier this month, the cat somehow became stuck behind the wall in a building in the southwestern city of Tandu. After a period reported to be three days, a karaoke receptionist saw the kitten. He looked around but realized there were no gaps available for him to pull the little guy out. So the receptionist called the building's property management office to ask for help. The building staff knew the glass wall was built between aluminum door frames and a load-bearing wall, so they dug out a tunnel to rescue the kitten. After the successful rescue, the receptionist decided to take the tired and hungry cat home and adopt it. However, despite the good news, we're still wondering exactly how did the kitten get trapped in the first place, and why it took three days for anyone to notice. Let us know in the comments if you got any bright ideas about that. Felix the cat uses up one of her nine lives. A London dock worker is being hailed a hero after he saved a cat from drowning in the River Thames. This surveillance footage of the incident was posted to Facebook by London's Royal Docks on Monday. It shows the docks engineering and operations manager Scott Durban leaping into action after Felix fell into the drink. Felix got an unexpected bath when she was fighting with another cat, and things got out of hand. But Scott Durbin wasn't about to let the Royal London Docks official office cat drown. Faster than a speeding bullet, Durbin ran to the water's edge and grabbed the little kitty by her neck before she sunk to the bottom of the river. We're not sure if cats are good swimmers, but Durbin wasn't taking any chances. Felix the cat was doing fine on Tuesday. A spokesman for the dog said he was happy to report that the kitty experienced no injury or trauma. However, Felix may have suffered a little wounded pride. The spokesman said everyone in the office had been laughing behind Felix's back about her blasé, nothing to see here routine that followed her dunking. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. A cat named Max in St. Paul, Minnesota was well known for often sneaking into a local college library. But he didn't become famous until he was eventually banned from the premises, with the image of a poster declaring his banishment going viral online. Max, the orange cat, owned by a McAllister College professor, was caught on camera a month ago sneaking into the college library. Here's the visual evidence of the furry trespasser. He didn't limit himself to the library either, and has even paid visits to the university's Spanish and Portuguese department. Basically, Max comes and goes as he pleases, probably thinking he owns the place. He's even been documented straight up sitting on people's laptops while they're trying to study. Although people were always happy to see him, Max was becoming a distraction. There were also some concerns over his safety, and he has since been banned from entering the library. 
Meanwhile, Max's adventures have inspired people to create illustrations, fake library cards, and even a short comic strip in his honor. Max doesn't give up easily, though. One staffer tweeted that he hangs out by the door and tries to run into the library as soon as someone opens it. Do you know Max the Cat? One thing Max's newfound fame has gotten him, some personal face-to-face -face time with McAllister president Brian Rosenberg. Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a catastrophe down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six- and seven-toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West, are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sands said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18-inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now, with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water, or internet. But they do have generators, food, and medical supplies on site. For crying out loud. Last week, Florida couple Olivia Sari and Nicholas Larison got busted by the TSA for allegedly putting little Slim here in their checked luggage. They were traveling home from Erie International in Pennsylvania when baggage detectors picked up something weird. To their surprise, TSA agents reportedly discovered the six-month-old female cat inside their bags when they took a closer look. Airport police said Slim was placed inside the luggage without food, water, or air. Sari and Larison were cited but have yet to enter pleas over the incident. As for Slim, she's reportedly fine and being looked after by the Humane Society of Northwestern Pennsylvania. Those aren't what you think they are. A San Antonio family with good intentions learned a painful lesson after they brought two cute kittens into their home. The kittens were actually two young bobcats. According to KENS-TV, the family's relative found the kittens close to their home near Salado Creek in northeastern San Antonio. So the family took the kittens in. Oh, aren't they adorable? And due to their jungle cat appearance, the family just assumed the kittens were Bengal cats. Hmm, nothing wrong with that. The awe moment stopped when the kittens started biting people and ripping the milk bottles apart. Yeah, that's a bit too violent for two little kitty cats. The family then googled the kitten's size, check. Robust nature, check. Bobbed tails, check. Honey, these might not be the cute kittens we thought they were. The family called for help and the bobcat kittens were taken to the care of wildlife rescue and rehabilitation, or else the next thing ripped apart might just be them. San Antonio Animal Care Services told KENS-TV that it's possible the felines came from the Salado Creek area where parts are still underdeveloped and wildlife roam free. According to animal experts, bobcat kittens have black tips on their distinct triangle-shaped ears with white patches just underneath the back and short black tipped tails. And if you do see bobcat kittens on your own, just leave them alone as their mother is likely off hunting. <laughs> 